Hi, Tim here with Clive Coffee to share the top five tech tips for using your Profitech Pro 500 successfully. When you are first using your machine and you fill that boiler for the first time, you will draw a lot of water from the water reservoir. At a certain point, the machine will turn itself off due to the low water level in that water reservoir tank. Really simple, all you have to do is simply take that top tray off and refill your water reservoir. There's a magnet float inside the water reservoir, so if it drops below that certain level, the magnet drops and the sensor inside will turn the machine off. If that sensor pops out, you can simply replace it and put it back in this same orientation with the magnet facing out and on the top side so that the magnet is closer to the top. Your Pro 500 has some very simple gauges and LED lights that give you information about how the machine is operating. The green light is just a simple main power switch. You'll see it's controlled with that switch on the left, on off of, that's the main power of the machine. The light, LED light that's underneath that, that orange light, is simply your water level indicator. Once your water reservoir has gotten below a certain level, that orange light turns off. And when you have water that's in that reservoir, the light will turn itself back on. The gauge here on the left is your steam pressure in that boiler in the machine. Your ideal range is in the green zone. Right around 1.1 to 1.4 is just right for your steam pressure. The gauge on the other side here is your pump pressure for your brew group. That will only be showing a pump pressure when your brew lever is engaged and you have a, a full puck of coffee or some back pressure at the group head. Your Pro 500 heats that single steam boiler on newer models, it uses a PID. There's a thermometer probe and a heating element connected to a small computer found here is the display. That's gonna give you accurate temperatures in that steam boiler down to one degree. Previous machines were using a pressure stat to heat the boiler, control the heating on that boiler. On the updated PID machines, you have finer control down to one degree. Understanding how your Pro 500 controls temperature at your brew group is going to give you just a better understanding of how the machine works and how you can best use it. The only thing that's heated is that steam boiler. There's a tube that runs through the steam boiler on its way to the group head. That tube is picking up the heat from that steam boiler and heating the water for your coffee. That is how a heat exchange or thermosiphon system works. When your machine has been on for 15 to 30 minutes, um, just sitting for a while, the water that's in that line that feeds your coffee has gotten hotter than you'd like it to be for brewing espresso. It's gonna be closer to 205 or even as high as 208. In order to flush out that water, you're going to open up your brew group and let about five to 10 seconds worth of water a few ounces flush through that tube and the water that comes through after that is going to be closer to that 200 degree point for brewing coffee. Understanding how to use your PID with the newer Pro 500 PID is going to give you the ability to minimize or perhaps use the machine without a cooling flush. At higher temperatures, anywhere from 250 to 260, you will need that five to 10 second cooling flush to flush that hotter water out of the brew chamber. If you set the machine down to where I have it, right around 249, you'll find that many coffees will need a shorter, shorter uh, 
cooling flush or maybe no cooling flush at all. It's really simple to adjust the temperatures on your PID that controls your steam boiler. Press and hold both buttons, the plus and the minus sign on either side, and you'll see T1 appear on the screen. Pressing the plus button once, and then again, we'll enter the numbers. You could set it up to 255, and as I leave it for a few seconds, it goes back to T1. If I press my left button one more time, that minus button, it exits my temperature programming and will begin heating up to that set temperature. You can see it automatically starting to raise the temperature in the boiler and it's displaying that right now for us. For more information on using your Pro 500, check out these links here. For other tech tips, check out our knowledge base at clivecoffee.com.